All right, so uh, I'm trying to make a different mount for my uh, for the camera on this gimbal. It comes with this. Um, should I say uh, it's a it's a Velcro strap dealie, and it it just straps around the lens. It's supposed to be for a GoPro, uh, but I don't like it. I don't like it at all because uh, one it. If you don't have it really, really tight, it has this kind of play here. It's kind of, yeah, see, see, it's already crooked. It can be crooked, and you know, it could slide. I don't know. I, I don't know if it could slide off. But yeah, see, see how easily it's easy for me to slide off. So I'm making a new mount for it, for this. I, I don't like this system at all. You know, it's designed for a GoPro. And this is similar to a GoPro. It's an SJ Cam 4000. So what I got here is uh, here we go. So this is the um, this is SK Cam 4000 or the Turnergy Action Cam from Hobby King. This is where I got it from. It's actually it says Turnergy on it somewhere. But uh, it comes with this uh, cool. Uh, it's like a a belt clip mount. It's designed to be uh, put on your belt clip. But um, I'm going to modify it so I can put it on here. Because another thing I don't like about this is um, it uh, it's hard to get the camera off. I mean, I guess you could just slide it off here and then you can take the, the card out. That could work. But like I said, I don't like it. It's not very secure. It looks kind of ghetto. So I'm going to try to get this to mount on this. And it's got like a quick release dealy here. It just has like a ratchet sort of here, and once it goes in there, it locks in, and then you can slide the camera in and out how you want it, you know. So uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so to do that, I had to uh, I had to get a Dremel, or you know, like I used a grinder too, a bench grinder, and I had to uh, cut these uh, grind the. Uh, there we go. Grind this the part sticking out at the bottom so it was flat on these sides because it won't fit on the little rail here it's got to fit in here so. and then um, and then I, I made a prototype I was gonna make a stud so I made a stud for it I didn't want to use a bolt stud is a lot easier to use but uh, yeah so I made a, a prototype stud here and and then I was like, ah, oh, well, I can't really get it in there very tight. So uh, so I went to Lowe's and I went and looked for the proper bolt. So uh, and that's what this is. It's a uh, it's like a uh, all the cameras, most cameras in the world use this uh, a quarter by twenty uh, thread. So you can use that. So uh, I went and got that, and it's like a half inch. And um, and then uh, I got a, this washer nut. It's a like quarter by twenty, also, or about like I don't know. Le it was less than a dollar for these, so not bad. And they're black. Um, and then this is a this is a nice. Uh, it's like a fancy wa uh, nut with like a washer on it that spins. But uh, that's that's important because you need you need to be able to um, needs, you need to be able to bite on the sides edges here. And if you just have like a skinny ass bolt, it, it's not going to bite on there very well. So this this helps spread the spread the force throughout the whole bracket. So uh, let's go uh, let's go try it out. So so what I've done is uh, I've uh, I put the, the the screw in the set screw in and I've tightened it. It has a little Allen wrench thing. That's the main reason I got this. So I can tighten it pretty good. I tightened it and I used the uh, use Loctite. So it won't vibrate off, and then uh, it shouldn't vibrate. It's on a freaking gumbo, right? <laughs> but uh, just uh, just for some insurance. So uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and install it now. All right, here we go. I got it on there. That wasn't too hard. So I got it in there, and there's the washer nut. That looks professional, and it's even flush too. Uh, maybe I might want to snug it with a wrench. Um, I was trying to look for like a, a thumb, what is it, a, a wing nut or something to install it so you can you don't have to use tools to take it on and off. 
but I think this is fine. And you can still adjust it in and out. Because I'm gonna need to act, have access to uh, to the memory card to take it out. I like to take the memory card out. Uh, but here's the beauty of it. Stick it in the mount. See if I can do it with one hand. Uh, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna this little ratcheting dealy. Push it in. Wham! There we go. It's locked in. Ain't coming off. There it is. Nice and secure. Looks professional. Uh, okay. Well, I will admit, um, it's pro. It's probably a good bit heavier than the, the velcro strap so it's gonna add some weight to it I, I didn't think about that but you know it adds a little protection to it too so but, uh, yeah that's that's the drawback to this is uh, is you're not gonna have enough uh, plus a uh, maybe uh, it looks like the plastic case is hitting it so if you uh, if you bank too much one way it's not gonna be able to go up all the way like that it's gonna hit that one. but uh, just uh, should be fine. I'll we'll have to actually test it in flight, but uh, that's the mounting system. And then to take it off, you just, uh, just pull up on this, pull up here, push out. Oh, it's tough to get it. There we go. Tough to get out with one hand. And the good thing is, I don't have to invert the image anymore, so I can turn that off. Um, and like I said, I can take it out and then uh, take the, the card out. But I, I'm planning to uh, to add a, a transmitter to this, so I can use the camera as a like a live feed. So uh, for FPV, so like uh, I may have to move this to the side a little bit so I can move it out. But uh, yeah, you're just gonna have to disconnect the USB connector in every time. Yep, so there it is. Cool dealy. It works perfectly. I just need to tighten this a little more. Um, just to make sure it don't come off. Uh, another thing you can probably do is... Uh, uh, I don't know. If it's on here and it falls off, if you could, um, if you could drill a hole somewhere here, and maybe add a lanyard and then and then uh, tie it to somewhere here so just in case the camera falls off that would be good that's a, that's a good way to prevent from losing the camera but I don't think I have problems with that but I may do something like that later just to make a cheap little lanyard because uh, yeah, yeah cameras aren't cheap heaven forbid it was an actual GoPro right this it's like four hundred dollars down the drain so, there it is. Okay, here I'm just going to do a quick video on uh, how much this stuff weighs that I'm adding to my quadcopter. Um, so, uh, so here's the Velcro strap mount. It weighs, ta-da, freaking zero ounces. It weighs nothing. Whereas my mount weighs a little less than an ounce, 0.8 ounces. And let's add the camera to that. It's three ounces with the camera, and that's with the battery and the what is it? The, the memory card in there. Here's the gimbal itself. That is almost ten ounces, nine point eight. And let me see one more part. Uh, where did you put it? Right here. And a little mounting plate. Let's add that. That's just about 10 ounces. 10.2. Um, and I guess uh, I may be using this little plastic plastic mount that comes with it still. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far. Almost 11 ounces. So, uh, yeah. I'm adding before... Let's see if I take this one out and I take these out. This is what I was running before. Let me see if I can find other stuff. All right, there we go. So we're at three ounces, and this is the other part of the plate. 
A little more than three ounces? That doesn't really weigh nothing. Here's the case. I have to use this case with it. Add that to it. That's about 5.8. And, uh, and a little bolt, which really doesn't weigh anything. It's aluminum. Six ounces. So pretty much almost double the weight that my quadcopter is carrying. So uh, yeah, it should be interesting to see how that affects the flight time and performance. So stay tuned for that. All right, well, here's my Blade 350QX2 without the shell. And, uh, well, it took a lot of screws to get it off. Right there. All right. So, uh, so I'm at this point where I'm uh, mounting the, um, the plate. And uh, it's turned out pretty good. So I've got the upper plate mounted to the original one. The reason I kept the original one is because it, it kind of levels it out. See how this front this front uh, piece is longer, so it keeps it flat. So I decided to keep it. Um, so basically, what I've done is I've kind of sandwiched the old mount between the new mount and the fuselage, and I had to use longer screws for that. So I went to uh, yeah, the screws are like actually self-tapping screws, so they're kind of weird. Uh, what did I use right here? This is what I wound up using. I went to uh, Sheldon's Hobbies, and these are, uh, these are actually number four button head sheet, sheet screws, and they're only $1.50 for like eight of them, so what a bargain, right? Awesome. They're actually too long. I wish I'd gotten the, uh, I think these are one inch. Yeah, 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 it's hard to see under the sticker, but they're, they're one inch. So these are one inch long. I wish I kind of got the, um, the three quarter because it's a little bit on the long side. See, it's, it protrudes a little bit. Uh, but that's okay, because the battery doesn't, it stops right here, I think. So it's no big deal. Um, yeah, so if I was to do it again, I would have just uh, get the three quarters. The other one seems perfect. So maybe I would do three quarters in the back and then and the one inch in the front. And then the sides, so basically the only thing that's gonna be holding, uh, I was just gonna do, uh, just put the original screws on the sides here, and then the front and the back will be where the gimbal mounts, and uh, it should be plenty strong. It's not supposed to crash it, right? <laughs> um, so uh, I, don't, I try to mount it as far back as I can, so I can get some good uh, weight balance. And um, what I'm gonna, what the next step is, I have to um, grind the, the sides down to the original plastic mount. You see, they kind of stick out. You can see them through the holes. The other side's fine because I pushed the mount all the way back. Ooh, it's going to be kind of a bitch to get to that, uh, those screws there, though. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh, looks like the mount's a little crooked, too. Uh, I'll have to straighten it out a little bit. But, uh, yeah, it's actually turned out pretty good. I just have to, uh, I have to grind these ears in so I can get the, get the balls mounted in there. Right. I've already gotten the... I already uh, grinded down the, the old mount, so this one will clear. And uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I almost forgot. I bought these uh, shockproof pads at Daiso, only dollar fifty, and they're these uh, kind of gel pads. And I'm gonna stick them between the the um, the mounts. To help dampen the vibrations, so we'll see how that works. I've seen people do this before with different stuff, but I just saw this while I was shopping around. I'm like, hey, I can probably use that, so I'm gonna try it out. Only dollar fifty for three pads, so not bad. Okay, so there you go. I got the mount on uh, with the sticky stuff. Uh, yes, it is a sticky indeed, but uh, it attracts fingerprints and dust and all that. So I imagine it's gonna get really yucky after a while. But uh, it's on there, and uh, it's got a little bit of give. Uh, I didn't put it on there perfectly. I should have should have made sure. But uh, basically, what I did is um, I uh, I just lined this up as good as I could, and then I I screwed it in until uh, until um, 
till it would go through the gel, and then uh, uh, it went straight through to the body. So it's all the way up in there. And uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, it's a little uneven. It's bolting out on this side. It's not on that side. Uh, and it adds a little gap to it, so that's good. And so basically, it's these two are holding the plate in, and then the and these two side ones are held in to the body. Uh, I had to take out. I had to put those ones in first before the top ones. So it's easier that way. I tried to. I tried to screw it all the way through, but uh, through the gel. But nah, I gave up and I just took it apart again. So there you go. It's that dollar fifty gel. Not bad.